Shalom. We're continuing the read and learn of Psalm 27. We're picking up in verse 10. Mizmor Kafzayin. Ki avi ve'imi azavuni ve'yehova ya'asveni. He is a conjunction that can mean because or for or when. Av, you know, is father. The yud suffix is mine. The vav is and. M is the word for mother. The yud is mine. Azav is a verb that means to desert, to abandon. The vav suffix is a plural past tense. Ni is me. Vav is and. Yehovah, the name of our God. Yud is an imperfect marker for he will. Asaf means to gather up. Ni is me. If my father and my mother forsake me, Yehovah will gather me. Ki avi vi'imi azavuni v'yehovah ya'asveni. Oreni Yehova Darkecha. The root for this verb is Yud Resh He. It comes from the concept of to point in a direction, to shoot an arrow in a direction. It is the same root as Torah, and here it means teach. Ni is me. Yud He Vav He, you know. Derech is the word for way or path. The kaf suffix is your, masculine, singular. Horeni Yehova Darkecha. Uncheni Boorach Mishor, Lema'an Shorerai. The vav is and. In this case, it takes the u sound because it's followed by a letter which has a shva underneath it. The verb nacha means to lead. Ni is me. The bet is a preposition that means in. Orach is also a path. For the construction of this word, we see a mem prefix which makes the word a noun. The word yashar is straight or upright, so we will make it a noun uprightness. Lama'an, for the sake of. Shorer is an enemy. And the yud suffix is my. Uncheni boorach mishor lama'an shorerai. Teach me, Yehovah, your way, and lead me in a way of smoothness or uprightness for the sake of, because of, my enemies. Horeni Yehovah darkecha, uncheni baorach mishor, lema'an shararai. Al titneni benefesh tsarai. Al is a negative particle, don't. 
The tav prefix is for you will do something. The root for this verb is natan. It's a very irregular verb. It means to give or to set in place. The ni is me. Ba, a preposition in. Nefesh is the soul. Tsar is also an enemy in the sense of whoever oppresses. The yud suffix is my. Al titneni benefesh tsarai. Ki kamu vi e de sheker vi feach chamas. Ki is a conjunction because the root of this verb is kum. It means to rise up. The vav suffix is the third person plural past tense. For this word we see the preposition b in and the yud is me. Prepositions in every language are unique to the verbs that they stand with. In this case we would say rise up against me. Ed is a witness. The yud is the plural construct state. Witnesses of. Sheker is lies. Vav is and. This verb is two closely related roots. Yefeach or nafach which means to breathe. It's almost onomatopoeic. In other words, you can hear the pah, the air coming out of the person's mouth. Nafach is the word used in Genesis when God breathes into Adam. Hamas is violence. Now the Hamas that you hear about every day is an Arabic acronym. In other words, the first letters of the words spell out Hamas the, it is an acronym for the Islamic resistance movement. So it's just kind of ironic that they have taken this name, which is a Hebrew word. Ki kamu vi ede sheker, vifeach chamas. Don't set me in the soul or the will or desire of my enemy, for they have risen up against me witnesses of falsehood, false witnesses, and one who breathes out violence. Al titneni benefesh tsarai ki kamuvi ede sheker vifeach chamas. <laughs>